Hey, this is Maggie Furlong with AOL Movie Phone, and we're on the set of Land of the Lost. Come check it out. This has been sort of a long time coming, especially for you. Did you ever think you would see a Land of the Lost movie? Absolutely. We knew we wanted Will Farrell. Right. So that we got great comedy against great jeopardy, and we have fantastic writers. The film I really wanted to be an old-fashioned Hollywood stage film and really take a lot of the spirit of Land of the Lost. We really wanted to uh, kind of celebrate the kitsch of the show slightly, but also to make it look like a real adventure movie. The sincerity factor is is there, but it's there in terms of sincere humor. I mean, definitely it's, it's Will who is not a dad. He is a celebrity paleontologist. I'm Dr. Rick Marshall. Dr. Rick Marshall. He thinks that the fossil record does suggest time and space travel. Everybody thinks he's a quack. Stephen Hawking says this is nonsense. You're starting to just sound like an idiot. This interview's over. And that was my guest, Dr. Rick Marshall, whose book arrives in stores tomorrow. You might want to look for it in the I'm out of my freaking mind department. When I was a child, I watched a lot of the Sid and Marty Croft stuff, and Land of the Lost was definitely on there. I was uh, petrified of sleaze stacks as a kid, <laughs> until now. It was always kind of funny to hear what people thought. There has to be drugs involved, right? They're Absolutely. dropping acid, something crazy's going on. Right. What do you say to that? Well, I say that if we did as many drugs as they think, we'd be dead today. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, I don't know about the fans. I hope that they're not doing as many drugs as we think. I liked what they wanted to do with Holly, that she was she is the girl in the movie. But it's only a three-hander, but um, she's a girl with balls and guts. Pterodactyl legs are incubating all over the caldera. There's your film box. You get captured in this cage. And, and she you're... fights her way out of Slee Stack, so she's, she's on the, on, she goes in this cage that they're about to lower into a, a kind of fiery pit. We're basically rescuing Holly, and we, we basically fight off all these Slee Stacks, only to find out that, um, that Enoch, the kind of evil Slee Stack, is, has got our special little device that will get us back. To Earth. I've been injured. Oh. I'm not going to spoil anything. Please don't. Also, I kick a, kick a slee stack in the nuts. This is quite a little get up, huh? It is a little get up. Well, it starts off as a pair of long trousers, like okay. cords that Holly wears in the original series, right. with a little plaid shirt. Oh. And as the the um, the film progresses, the shirt comes off and the shorts go shorter and shorter. And shorter. Uh -huh. that, that, that's as small as it gets, but I do feel considerably naked compared to the rest of the Well, yeah. <laughs> What are you trying to say? I don't know, it's the same thing over and over. Chorizo taco? Are you saying chorizo tacos? Don't play around with me, okay? I'm super hungry. I only have one outfit in this whole entire movie. Because you know, there's not a lot of clothes change land of loss. So I've been rocking no sleeves for like three months now and cowboy boots. It's been pretty cool. I love it. Did you do a little little pump and iron, a little tone it up before this one? You know, I thought about it and then it was just like, Man. yeah. There's, that's a lot of work, you know? Oh, oh, this is all oh, natural. Oh. That None way. of this, I, I, don't, I didn't juice up for the movie, which a lot of people have been asking me, but no, it's not. This is real. So you're ready to be a big action star? You've got the, the head to toe. I've got the head to toe. Great little I've got camo. The, I've got the this? legs for it. You do, yeah. you do. Beautiful I tan. have action star legs. Did they make you tan a little bit for this? Uh, for yeah, I go, to, I go to a, a tanning bed four times a week. Good. Healthy. And uh, healthy. Which, you, we need more vitamin D, I just we read do, the paper. We do, we do. People yeah. say, you've got to have it you to live. have it, so. Otherwise, depressed. I'm ahead of the curve. Just trying to be still. I don't think it's working.